Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be making some Korean braids short ribs in a slow cooker. It's one of my favorite recipes when I'm super busy. Also, it's authentic as it gets in a crock pot, so let's get to it. Okay, here are some key ingredients for this dish. Uh, we're going to need Korean pear, which is very important, onion, dry shiitake mushrooms, carrots, garlic cloves, jujubes, which are basically Asian dates, and uh, we also need a ginger. Now, we need to soak these dry shiitake mushrooms. They take only about 10 minutes to fully hydrate, so by the time we throw these into the crock pot, they'll be perfectly soft. We'll set this aside for now. And here comes the easy part. We're going to be blending up these ingredients for the sauce. Just throw in some garlic cloves into the blender and I'm going to peel the ginger and add a little bit of it. Once I peel all the skin off, I'm going to be adding about a teaspoon of ginger. And the nice thing about using the blender is I don't have to chop it. Just throw it in and it'll do the job for me. We're going to need a lot of onion for this dish. We'll add some chopped ones later into the pot, but for the sauce, I'm adding a half of an onion into the blender, which will give you a nice flavor for the sauce. And we also need a Korean or Asian pear. Um, every proper kalbi marinade uses blended Korean pear. And this kalbi jim dish, which is the braised version of kalbi, is not an exception. So we got to peel the pear and then cut it in half and we'll be using only half of this pear. Blended pear and kalbi sauce will give you such a nice and sweet flavor. Now because this is a blender, I'm adding a half a cup of water and also a quarter cup of mirin before I start blending all this up. And of course, if you need more liquid, you can add a half a cup of soy sauce, which will be part of this recipe. Now pour the mixture into a mixing bowl. I'm adding the soy sauce now because I didn't need to for the blender. By the way, the exact recipe is in the description section, so please check it out. Adding a quarter cup of brown sugar and two tablespoons of sesame oil. So this is called oligo syrup, which is a rice syrup, not a fructose corn syrup. It's healthier. And in Korean cooking, whenever there is a sweet component to your dish and your sauce needs a little bit of a thickener, this is what's used instead of a cornstarch. Now thoroughly mix around whatever we just added to the blended mixture. I'm using two pounds of beef short ribs. I'm putting them into the bottom of the crock pot so they cook faster, but they still need to cook at least six hours minimum. I'm flipping the meaty side to the bottom so they cook better in the sauce. Now take the other half of the onion and chop them up in big pieces and add to the crock pot. I'm adding two carrots to the pot. First, I gotta peel them and cut them into bigger one to two inch pieces. Some recipes also use potatoes or daikon radishes, but I really like just using carrots because these carrots turn into, you know, little candied carrots and they're so delicious. And personally, I don't like adding potatoes to kalbi jim because they add way too much starch into the sauce. Now add all your hydrated dry shiitake mushrooms but not the juice because at this point you're going to have plenty of juice for the kalbi. And add these jujubes. Sprinkle some black peppers around. And pour all that sauce we made earlier into the pot. This is what the pot looks like before we start cooking. Nice and hearty, so delicious looking. And we're gonna be cooking this in high heat for six hours. 
Now it's been three hours and we're gonna open it up and rearrange some of the ingredients. And remember we put all the meat on the bottom. We're gonna mix that around so the carrots can also get some of that action in the juice. And once it's mixed around, put the lid back on and come back in three more hours. Okay, now the whole house smells like braised short ribs. I mean, it smells like home. As you can see, it's produced a lot of juice and everything's been cooking in it, just the way I wanted it to. Now just play it up and that's it. You're ready for some good eating tonight. If you enjoyed today's recipe, please hit that like button below. If you're new, please subscribe for more delicious recipes. Thanks for watching.